everybody, Anne here, and today it is frigid cold outside. Cold! I think it's about 20 degrees, so I got my, my heavy stocking cap on, and um, the good thing is, is that it is sunny outside. So I don't know if I'll do some hiking maybe a little bit later, but you know what I'm going to do right now? I am going to put a roast in the crock pot. So yeah, it's super easy to do and very doable for van lifers. And so here, come on along and see how I do it. Yes. I chose a pork roast and I like that netting on it. It'll hold together nicely in the pot. Sometimes I brown the roast on the outside, but this time I'm not gonna do that. All you basically have to do is take it out of the package, put it in the pot, add some seasonings and some water and voila. I do like to cover it up with a towel and a couple of hot pads just to keep in the heat. It's been going for, let's see, two and a half hours now. I'm just gonna go ahead and open this and see what it looks like. See, the meat has shrunk up quite a bit. That's gonna give us plenty of room to put the vegetables and it smells really, really delicious and there's still plenty of water in it. If it looks like the water is drying up, you can add more. So let this go for a little bit longer and then we'll cut up the vegetables and put them in there. Oh my goodness, it smells so good. It's warmed up quite a bit, so I've taken off my stocking cap and put on my favorite ball cap that I got from my dad. And in a little while, it's gonna be time to add the vegetables. Now, I'm not gonna show you me cutting up the vegetables because I'm pretty sure you can figure out how to do that. But I'm going to add potatoes and baby carrots and onions to it for the last two hours of the cooking cycle. And they're going to be just so delicious. And yep, you can see my van. You can see, see that ghetto? You talk about ghetto van. <laughs> yep, I put a dollar store black foam board and secured it with gray duct tape. It looks terrible, but you know what? It it works. It really changed the climate inside the van. I've got a couple more spots that I've got to add up there. Um, eventually, I'll do it right. You know, pull it out of there and um, put something proper up there. But for right now, it's what I got, and it works. And I don't know if you can see Betty. She's like way over here somewhere taking a nap. But anyhow, yeah, I'm going to chop up some vegetables and I'll bring you back when it's time to add them to the pot. There's about two hours left for the roast to be finished cooking, so I just chopped up some potatoes. I just quartered them. They were small potatoes, so quartering them is fine. And I just spread them all around the roast and then I'm going to push them down a little bit so that they can get down into the juices. I put the potatoes in first because they take the longest to cook. And then just go around and push them on down. And now it's time for the baby carrots. For this crock pot, which is a three quart crock pot, I added about a half a bag, uh, half of a small bag of baby carrots. Just get as many in there as you can fit. Spread them around the top and just keep adding until you can add no more. And now it's time for the onions. I used one large onion and then another smaller one and I just cut them in big chunks in case you're you know, serving for somebody who doesn't like onions, like Betty, she can't have onions. So you can easily take them out after everything is done cooking and uh, you just have a beautiful roast. Put the lid on and let it cook for a couple more hours until done. I keep checking my solar to make sure it's gonna last the whole time. It's down to 11.4 from like 13 point something, so I don't know, I don't know. I may have to switch to electricity. Well, I've got about 45 minutes left to go, and unfortunately, my solar setup could not handle this throughout the whole duration. The sun's starting to go down, and I've only got 105 amp hours, and I've only got 100 watts total in solar panels. So uh, I switched over to electric for the last 45 minutes and so I will come back when it's all done. All right, let's see if the potatoes are done. Yes, they're nice and soft, but not mushy. Let's check the carrots. The carrots are done, yes. 
It's been going for six hours. Let's see if it's done. Oh yeah, look at that. Nice and flaky. This is totally done. It is ready to be plated up. Let's taste this. Oh my God, it looks so good. It is flaky, it is tender, and it is oh, so delicious, very delicious. The carrots are perfect. They're not mushy. They're, they've still got a little bit of texture to them and the potatoes and the onions. Oh my goodness, so, so very good. You know what, this has been so easy, even though I couldn't do it 100% on solar. Ooh, potato. It was still an awesome, awesome dish. Thanks for watching everybody. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit the bell, and y'all have a good one.